Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis. Welcome to another quick tutorial in Pro Tools about sidechain compression. So what is sidechain compression? Basically, sidechain compression is taking an input from another signal, for example, a kick drum, and using it to compress a different signal. So you hear this a lot in EDM, that ducking effect. When the kick hits, you know, some of the synths or some pads, whatever, get ducked and have that sort of ducking effect. I do the same thing with sidechain compression, but I do that with tools to get it fixed. Uh, to get it f uh, fit in the mix, especially if I want the kick drum to hit really hard through the mix. So right now I've got um, <clears throat> the drums and all the tools soloed in this example. Um, I've turned the side chain uh, compression off and here's how it sounds like without any side chain. So it's not bad. Um, I do find in the bottom end, like when the kick, it, it, it's, it's not clean like I want to hit harder so the first thing I want to do is put a compressor on the sub for all the tools there's no point doing it individually I take all my tool tracks sub it and then what I'll do is I'll put a compressor on there and right here see that the the key input it's the uh, the kick because you have to put it to a bus right you can't actually take an interface so I've taken the uh, the parallel compression kick which is roughly the same it hits the same time there's no difference put that and then put the side chain on see that there and then I just played with the frequencies um, again I'm not I'm not compressing the total sound I just want every time the kick hits that the toll will kind of come down a bit okay um, there's actually a better way to do this and I'll do a different tutorial on that where you actually cut specific frequencies because this will actually cut the whole toll so every time the kick hits the toll is gonna duck a little bit um, in the whole mix and that's all the frequency range again this is just a, an easy quick way I mean I prefer to do it a different way which I'll do another tutorial like I said but so here's what's happening I just got a ratio of you know very very light compression here fast attack because the tool is you know it's coming in it, it's a lot of attack in there um, sorry fast release and a you know fairly decent attack and then I played with the gain so when you watch this it's just hitting a you know just above 1 dB um, let me play this for you. So this is without the com uh, side chain. This is with the side chain. Now I'll exaggerate this so you know what I'm saying. See, you hear that pumping? Every time the kick hits, the full ducks. So I'll go back to where I had it. Somewhere there. Again, I'll bypass it again. I don't know if you can hear the difference now, but the kick is really strong now, which I want. And you still get that tool banging through the mix. So let me bypass it. Like the kick just gets lost in there, and then I'll bypass it. Now the kick pops out. So this is just a quick video on sidechain compression. I use this a lot, especially when I mix Punjabi records, and I want the the tools and the tolux to still pop through. But I still want that hard hitting kick. I find with a lot of the music nowadays that there's a sacrifice. That, you know, the kick and snares are down and the toll is really too loud in the mix. And this this will maintain the energy of the track. Like if you listen to the record, the toll is still prevalent. But just every time that kick comes in, I want to shine through. It just ducks the uh, tolls a little bit less. But you still get you still maintain that energy without any sacrifice of volume or without any sacrifice of EQ. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel that we stay up to date with the latest and greatest information. I'm DJ Reminis. See you guys next time.